In this video, we are going to learn how blending modes are going to work in user interface design, UI design. You can use these techniques in any software, in any app you use, whether you are using Sketch, Adobe XD or Figma. Now you can see I have few um, screens over here and I'm going to go through one by one and how I have applied these. This is a dummy project. This is a dummy screen I have created for just for this video. Now let's get started. Now the first one you can use is either you can darken your background or you can lighten your background like you can see over here. So I'm going to go one by one and I'm going to show you my techniques and how you can apply them in user interfaces uh, in your own apps or websites. Now you can see uh, this is a layer at the top of let me show you so you can see this is just a rectangle called overlay on this image over here at the background. So image is on the background overlay is on the top. Now I actually I am using two things. One is opacity. You can see over here in the controls and second is the blending mode. So I am actually mixing both of them. Don't try to do something like this. It is not going to look very well. So I'm going to reduce the opacity around 60 to 70 percent something closer to that. Now the first blending mode which is going to work if you want to set your background a bit darker is going to be multiply. So multiply and darken these are going to work. They are going to make your background image a bit more darker. So uh, you can use both of them. I'm going to show you the difference between both of them. You can see this is multiply on the left and on the right this is darken. So uh, it, it depends on you how what effect you want. You can see over here uh, this darken for me is looking great. If you want more darker uh, or more contrast, you can use this multiply. So this is how you are going to achieve this effect. Now the second technique uh, which I'm using inside these is if you look at this um, overlay. So let's make it uh, full opacity and I'm going to uh, go to normal so you can see it is not black so this is a very big mistake a lot of UI designers that they make that they make this one black and then they lose uh, what actually so you can see if I go to black and I try to use multiply and use the opacity it is going to look something like this so I tend to use some color that is going to be you can say that is inside this color scheme so i actually picked this from uh, over here so i actually i picked from these houses you can see this is they have dark brown uh, tops uh, roofs so this is how uh, this is working so this is for multiply for darken i love this effect you can see opacity is the same i'm just using the darken and the color of the fill is again dark brown which is picked from this background below now moving to this one okay so here is another effect which is i call washed out effect and i'm using actually color blend mode so if you select this top uh, overlay you can see i'm using 70 percent opacity and blend mode is set to color so what it actually doing is it is actually filling my whole image adding this color uh, and not changing any opacity or you can say darkness or contrast or shadows it is just applying or adding that color into uh, at the top of this whole image. So let me show you. So if you want to go with this, you can see. So if you want something like this, you can go with color. So I can I can move around like this. I can make it a bit washed out gray color. Um, something like this. If you are asking for this this kind of um, uh, this kind of effect. So again, you can see I have picked this color, which is looking great. You can also pick this one. This one also looks great. So you can see this is how I'm using color. Uh, if you cannot read the text over here, you can add shadows to this text and it is going to look a bit better. Uh, I recommend that if you are trying to use something like this washed out or color mode, uh, you have to have very big uh, bold objects or very big typography and try to use drop shadows with them. Now this is washed out color. Uh, 
uh, I'm using blending mode color and the last one I'm going to talk about is light lighten or screen so if you want some effect like this you want to have uh, some background where you have very white kind of look or you don't want darker or contrast images at the background you can use screen so screen and lighten they they are going to work both very well so lighten and screen these are two for you if you want to um, use or make your background whitish kind of opac uh, opacity uh, so you can use them uh, a lot of uh, designers they also use overlay but for me you can see I cannot see any text on this so it is not going to work for me so uh, soft light is going to add some uh, very soft um, light added in this color to the image if you are going to hard light uh, it is going to work almost like this so I normally use uh, screen and lighten for light light uh, backgrounds and multiply and darken for dark backgrounds. So this is um, my you can say you can see if I reduce it to 60% let's make it like this. So you can see this is what the look I wanted and um, this is looking great. So if you want light background you are going to use screen or lighten effect. Now last I am going to show you how you can remove this white background uh, on this using these uh, overlay modes blending modes so you are going to simply use darken so try to use darken and you can see it is uh, the colors you can see the colors are retaining everything is the same just it has removed the white background inside this image so to make it dark it actually removes white so I think it has removed whites so if I you can see make it a bit bigger almost the size of the same image it's so you can see if I move it to normal it is like this so if you want to remove the white background you are going to press darken and it's going to remove the white background so this is going to work on a lighter background so if you have uh, let me show you so if you have something like this it is not going to work so you use a background that is on lighter side of the spectrum like light gray uh, white background it is going to work on white background but if you have uh, some color like maybe uh, let me sh okay so if you have color something like this light grayish blue color uh, you can use this uh, darken blend mode to remove this white background for from logos so I have used it many times I have taught it in my UI design courses you can find them uh, find them on uh, different websites you can uh, you can also visit my website learnuxid.com and um, find these courses so uh, that is all about how you can use blending modes they have been recently added in Adobe XD in other softwares they are uh, already there for example in Photoshop sketch and other uh, graphic design or UI design software or apps so I hope you have understood the concept of how you can use these different uh, blending modes in your UI design now is the time that you are going to press the like button and you can also subscribe to my channel to get these kind of videos and um, make sure you also press the bell icon so you can get more updates so till then i am going to see you soon in another it's these kind of videos because i want to teach you the concept not the tools and that is the focus of my all ui design or design or ux design courses so let's move on and i'm going to see you soon in another video till then take care and bye